What's up, uh, Stranger Inside? Billy, lead singer. Justin, guitar. Ben, on bass. Jeff, on drum. And I'm Sarah Sample, and we work with Ramson Live, and we're sitting down with them today to ask them a couple questions and just kind of get a feel for who they are. So that way, when you come to the show and you rock out, you feel like you know the band, right? So enjoy. Let me shut this door first. So, um, have you guys been playing a lot of shows lately? Getting around to some other uh, venues, anything like that? What's been going uh, on? Tonight we're going to be uh, rocking out at Record Theater. So. Nice, nice. Is anyone else on that bill with you guys? Uh, when Gotham Falls, Rosabella, and Sin for Sin, and Orphan Project. Oh, cool. Have you played with some of those guys before? Played with Wayne Gotham Falls. We did a charity down at Glen Burnie for our Glen Burnie music programs. Uh, so we, Rosabella, we've gone way back with those guys. So mm. from the scene, uh, those guys are kind of a mix of several bands. So looking cool. forward to playing with them for the first time tonight. Well, that'll be fun. That'll be fun. Um, how do you guys feel about your position in the local music scene? Like, I mean, uh, we just got our CD done recently. Nice. So kind of just starting to hit the scene up again. We were out of it for a little while, going through some lineup changes. And now we're ready to kick some ass and rock it. Um, have you guys been promoting the new album? Yeah, we just started yeah. a big radio internet promotion. Nice. Uh, a lot of almost, you named on-site radio station, and we're on it now, finally. Uh, working on the iTunes, Amazon, uh, international distribution. Oh. Trying to get over in Europe, so we're slowly nice. baby steps. Nice. <laughs> well, that's what it takes, though, okay? Yes. Um, cool. So, uh, what's kind of your promotion process? Like, what do you, like, what's your ground level like? Friends and family and word of mouth. Yeah? <laughs> yeah? You guys ever go out flyering anywhere? Or? Yeah, we try and hit as many shows as possible and just, yeah. uh, you know, we like, we like to drink, sit back, drink with the best of them and nothing like buying a drink and starting to promote yourself. Yeah. Do you ever have any, like, ridiculous stories that have happened while you guys are out doing stuff? <laughs> uh, yeah. Yes. Justin, you yeah. take that one. Please share. <laughs> Why me? Why me? <laughs> no, actually, I'm going to talk about somebody else in the band. <laughs> Do you mind? I tend to get the moms. Just, uh, <laughs> moms, if you're watching. <laughs> Cougar Sam, Hunter. Yes. Sam's ready for the moms. EFM, a.k.a. Billy Bucks Moms. <laughs> yep. And this will be a captain later on tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Captain Kid. Nice, as it should be. Oh, yeah. As it should be. So, um, who does the majority of the songwriting? Do you guys do it t together? Um, usually starts out, I usually start out with an idea, vocals, guitar. Mm -hmm. um, and then usually I'll bring the idea to the band and we all incorporate and work on it. I mean, sometimes we'll bust a song out of practice and work on it, but... Yeah, I do a lot of the writing. We have the five-minute wonders, and then we've had the ones that have taken two months to finish, you know. Yeah. Typical band yeah. stories. It just Some of them just come like that, others we got to work at. Nice. Have you guys ever just been up on stage and you kind of, like, just start playing something you guys don't even know and you just make a new song on stage? Yeah, I practice a lot. <laughs> yeah, I practice quite a bit. Uh, sometimes the five-minute break turns into a two-hour jam session. But, okay, know. cool. So or, you guys are pretty cohesive and you got a nice fluidity between all of you? Uh, that was BaltimoreBands.com. Yeah, get on BaltimoreBands.com. Oh, really? uh, That's where I met. I was playing in a band guy five years ago, um, back right out of high school, and we needed a guitarist. And uh, after God, like, we got Billy somewhere in the beginning. I mean, one of the first auditions, mm -hmm. and Billy joined the band, so we started hooking up and playing. And we were still looking for another guitarist, and uh, God, what we got through about 200 guitarists and probably over 100 singers. Yeah. And after we couldn't lock down the lineup, our old bass player started playing guitar and oh, got a, you know, singer after singer after singer. And I had enough boy here decided to sing one day. <laughs> after about a year and a half of auditions, we kind of said, hey, we got us. We've had a singer all along. We didn't even know it. Nice. You know, the rest, as he said, was history. Just, now well, we got nice Justin and Ben in the group and we're rocking. Yeah, it's nice to find it like so close by in an unexpected place, I guess. Yeah. Kind of cool. Um, do you guys have like any ridiculous stories? crazy fans or just something weird that happened or like you get to a venue and it's just this really strange crowd <laughs> what was it uh which one <laughs> yeah we played cheeseburger right right. did we go D all paradise. the above <laughs> <laughs> yeah that was we got kicked out of cheeseburger in paradise we got through two songs yeah. and told us we were too loud and we had to leave cheeseburger in paradise yeah oh, yeah man. they asked me if i could play the drums with uh with brushes in a rock band that was interesting they, asked us they didn't really did yeah. they yeah Asked yeah, that when we showed up, not beforehand, just like, oh, by the way. How did you end up there? Uh, they, we got asked to play. Side, yeah. Battle of the Bands. And apparently they don't allow full bands, so that was, that was fun. And it, was our, it was the best two-song set we've ever played. And that, that venue ended up getting really pissed off at us just for the fact that we actually wanted uh, the crowd's feedback because everybody in the venue loved us. And huh. they were like, turn that shit.
shit up, turn it up, turn it up, and then they cut the plug. So. I, we're not real big on, you know, boasting and all, but after that show, seeing 80 people down to literally two at the bar, that was fun. That was cool. And yeah, everybody started really chanting that they're going up the street to the next bar. That was that was kind nice. of right in their face. So that, that, that made our night a little bit better. Yeah, I mean, I mean, you only got to do two songs, but that's some yeah. serious validation. Yeah, yeah it, was, it was cool. That's that awesome. was fun. Yeah, that's got to feel great. So are you guys all from the area? From out in the, uh, um, on the county. Right right county. Redneck representing. Or country boy. Redneck representing. Yeah, it's like a mix between Reiser's Town and Oxbow. I'm the, I'm the city of Annapolis, Vernon Park boy. Annapolis. Annapolis. I just moved up to Reisterstown recently, so cool. getting my farm farmer tan going. 